What is Class A Push-Pull Amplifier? A push-pull amplifier can be made in Class A, Class B, Class AB or Class C configurations. The circuit diagram of a typical Class A push-pull amplifier is shown below. Q1 and Q2 are two identical transistors and their emitter terminals are connected together. R1 and R2 are meant for biasing the transistors. Collector terminals of the two transistors are connected to the respective ends of the primary of the output transformer T2. Power supply is connected between the center tap of the T2 primary and the emitter junction of the Q1 and Q2. Base terminal of each transistor is connected to the respective ends of the secondary of the input coupling transformer T1. Input signal is applied to the primary of T1 on output load RL is connected across the secondary of T2. Quescent current of Q1 and Q2 flows in opposite directions through the corresponding halves of the primary of T2 and as a result there will be no magnetic saturation. From the figure you can see the phase splitting signals between applied to the base of each transistor. When Q1 is driven positive using the first half of its input signal, the collector current of Q1 increases. At the same time, Q2 is driven negative using the first half of its input signal and so the collector current of Q2 decreases. The collector currents of Q1 and Q2 that is I1 and I2 flows in the same direction through the corresponding halves of the T2 primary. As a result, an amplified version of the original input signal is induced in the T2 secondary. So, current through the T2 secondary is the difference between the two collector currents. Harmonics will be much less in the output due to cancellation and this will result in low distortion which is ideal for audio. Advantages The advantages of Class A push-pull amplifier are as follows. High AC output is obtained. The output is free from even harmonics. The effective ripple voltages are balanced out. These are present in the power supply due to inadequate filtering. 